hey there guys i hope that all of you are having a really happy sunday morning it's 9 45 i've just finished breakfast duty cleanup duty laundry duty walk me a duty 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 because she dutied <laughs> had to pick it up um but anyway i uh i thought i'd sit here for a minute and just kind of uh launch into my art day in the morning i typically um i don't sit at my art desk i sit in my little space on my sofa if you guys are at my patreon site then you've seen my my very brief uh little video about about my little art space up here uh, a lot of you have asked for a tour. Um, um, yeah, that's a great idea. Not sure if it's gonna, <laughs> if it's going to happen or not. Uh, yesterday, but anyway, as I launch into my art day, I look for a warm up exercise. I've got all of these scraps that I have got to get out of my life. Uh, I processed one. One little bin yesterday by doing these layered bookmarks. Now, my mission was, this was a cool down exercise from last night. My mission was to do, I think I got 20 done um, in like, I think it took me about 45 minutes. And these are, I mean, it's really simple, y'all. You're just putting scraps together, right? I mean, you could think of it as a bookmark size chippy, you know, if you want to. And this is also what I'm going to do this morning to kind of warm my fingers up, warm up my art day. It, it's warm here. I'm not indicating that it's cool or anything. It's... um it's going to be a super pleasant day up here because the temperatures are down and the humidity's down. So I plan to work all day in my studio to get some things done. So I need a good warm-up exercise. I thought I would sit here for a minute with you guys and uh, we can just have a little bit of coffee and we can chat a little bit this morning. I am... I'm drinking, typically, I mean, I'm drinking my black coffee, but I've put in a Trader Joe's, uh, this is called Winter Wake Up, it's cinnamon and ginger, and it's a tea bag, but I put it in my coffee this morning, and I know that sounds kind of crazy, but um, I just felt like I wanted a little taste of something, I don't use, uh, you know, I don't use artificial sweeteners. I don't use sweeteners at all. I'm a big fan of black coffee. I'm drinking my coffee from, I, I don't think you guys can see it, but uh, one of my friends uh, in England gave me this beautiful coffee mug. There we go. And it has uh, British bunting on it and a teapot with a flag. It's really pretty. I do enjoy my morning, my morning Joe out of, and I'm picky about my coffee cups. I know that sounds funny, but tis true. We have a few strips. Now, again, these, these are strips that I have cut off of other paper that I just stuck in a box. Um, and then these scraps here are from my uh, 3D pop art flowers. Again, that video is at Patreon as well. So let's see. We've got one, two, three, four. These are about five inches long. Uh, the fun thing is that you can do these and make them into all kinds of things. You know, they can be bookmarks, they can be tags. Um, you know, you can think of this as a substrate, you know, for you to work on, for you to put other things on. Uh, you can flip it over and you have, of course, uh, I mean, you have a blank canvas right there. I've also been using this technique to make, uh, to make some, sorry, gotta have, gotta have some fan to make these super fun little notebooks. And all they are is little notepads that I've cobbled together, again, from scraps. You know, it's just fun to use your scraps. But, you know, you guys know how I feel about scraps. I just can't have that laying about. It makes me nuts. So we're, go <laughs> we're going to get rid of our scraps this morning and make some bookmarks or tags or whatever you want these things to be. I am going to make these, then lay them to the side. I will punch a hole in them with my crocodile and then 
I will uh, string some fiber on there and use them in journals. I think that will be super fun. Speaking of journals, I have not had anything in the Etsy shop of late. I, uh, I did list my ephemera collections, but that is an ephemera collection book, so it's not quite a, you know, it's not quite a flow journal. It's something different, and uh, I had such fun putting those together, y'all, because it, um, there's something about reading letters from, you know, I don't know, 1886 that is just absolutely mesmerizing and lots of fun and I get very caught up in the letter reading and you know so a lot of times those journals take longer to make just because I'm enthused about uh, you know what I'm finding in the letters and that sort of thing so we're just you know there's nothing to this we're just layering stuff on nothing earth-shattering, groundbreaking. I do think I'm going to use this right here because that kind of gives me a whole template. And you'll notice that I'm not, um, I'm not being really fussed about things, you know, like going over the edge or anything like that because I just cut that stuff off. And then that becomes like Mm, fodder for the next bookmark or chippy fodder or whatever. Um, I am wondering what to use here. Let's see what I have. I've got the super skinny strip. That works great. Let's put that there. Um, but what I was saying is this week, I have just not had a lot of creative time. I've had, um, I'm working, of course, for the farm because our first pumpkin harvest came in. So it's very exciting. It's a, it's a really sweet time. I'm going to make a chippy out of that little bit right there and this. It's a very exciting time. It also marks the end of the season. We, our pumpkins come in, and then we, um, we have uh, a two-day festival, which is at the end of September, and it is our biggest festival of the year and takes a monumental amount of time to put together, so that's what I've been doing is just putting putting together the festival. We have a lot of vendors. We have a lot of food vendors. The whole month of October is spent, um, you know, basically uh, arranging vendors for weekends because we do have food vendors on the weekends. We have a, this awesome guy that lives across the street from the farm who does coffee and hot beverages. And his name is Christian and he is awesome. Uh, so, you know, we really don't have to worry about the beverage thing because Christian kind of handles that on his, uh, he, like I said, he lives just across from the farm. So it makes it a super sweet addition. Also, um, the farm is free. So we have free admission, free hay rods, a free straw bale maze. Uh, we have uh, free parking. Everything is free. We have a free picnic and play area. The Gallmeyers have been farming in Henrico County for um, since uh, probably what we've kind of figured out is the late 1800s, mid to late 1800s. Uh, some of the structures on the farm date from the early 1900s. Uh, one does date from 1800, 1880, which is really super neat. So there we go. So we just made a chippy out of some scrappies. But it is a tremendous amount of work this time of year. Um, and of course, you know, our farm season only lasts six months. So it's like you, it, it's all condensed you know, <laughs> into like... What? For six months, you go, 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 go. And for me, it's about eight months because I have to do the marketing to get us open and stuff like that. You know, arrange the TV appearances and 
and things like that. So now we got a chippy. I'll put that over here. And that's why there has not been much in the Etsy shop. But I need, um, you know, we, we are um, self-employed here. So it's important, to say the least, that I get some stuff in the Etsy store. <laughs> Because it's important <laughs> to create your income. It's, it's made me think about, and I was thinking about this this morning um, as I was doing my, you know, my meditations and my reading and you know, my writing. That I've I took two passions and created businesses around them. And I was thinking this morning that, you know, that's, that's probably not, um, I don't know, it's, it's like not quite the way to do things. I don't want to say that. I, 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 uh, I think it would have been fun to kind of do it with other support, you know, but, you know, just kind of branching out and trying to to uh, to build a business around your passion, which is exactly the way you should do it. So I feel conflicted about it. I feel conflicted about my feelings about it. Um, but I think that, you know, as I approach getting my Social Security and things like that, it's like, you know, I, 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 I tell you guys, and I'll be honest with you, I, I feel like I should have done better. You know, I'm not well prepared for any sort of slowdown or, you know, any sort of, um, you know, health challenge or, you know, anything like that. Um, you know, you just always feel like you should have prepared better, but, but, but that's everybody, right? I mean, there we go. Don't, don't we all kind of feel like that? Like we should be more prepared or better prepared or whatever. I'm going to take you in just a little bit. Okay. So with this scrappy bit, we'll make a chippy. I think even people who have, you know, like worked a day job for many, many years can be surprised, you know, at a, at a layoff or a health issue or, you know, a family crisis or whatever. I mean, you, you, you can always kind of, um, you can always get surprised, right? But when you, you know, I, I had a music career in, you know, we don't, we don't like generate humongous incomes doing things like that, but you know, it's your passion and you're, you're kind of damned if you do and damned if you don't, because then you, <laughs> then you get unhappy because you're not following your passion. It's kind of, okay. So these are just like my random thoughts of the morning. I'm using a 1928 uh, Moody Bible College hymnal. For part of these little chippy things that I'm doing. I really enjoyed, very much enjoyed using that hymnal. It's absolutely beautiful. Sometimes things are really hard to cut up. Like that Happenings magazine, you know, that I've been using uh, as harvest fodder. It's like, shoo. man, that thing's hard to cut up because it's just so pretty. So pretty. If you hear noises, Chris is, um, he is using a harvest car to put uh, body pieces on the uh, Infinity that he bought, used a couple weeks ago. He's so smart. It's, um, it's, it's really just super cool to to watch him work because um, he just can cobble cobble things together and that's what he's been doing I think I'm using a bit of a Tim Holtz um, I'll show it to you 
I have used the heck out of this thing. Tim Holtz Ideology 1,088 stickers. <laughs> the word stickers. I think I got that. Oh, goodness. Goodness me. I have had it for so long and still using it because, you know, 1,088 words go quite a long way. I'm going to put the word laugh right here. I think that's, that's cute. Okay. I am going to do this for about five more minutes. And then I really got to hop on some journals. I do have them cut. Um, and I do have one that I have already covered with fabric. So I'm glad about that. I am going to use some of the vintage fabric <clears throat> that I got at the at the churchyard sale that I went to yesterday which was awesome. I got the best haul ever. And I, but I was telling my mom last night when I was talking to her, uh, she said, me and your daddy went down to the, there's a Baptist church in her area that does a hot dog sale every, um, twice a year. And mom says they are the best hot dog she's ever eaten in her life. And so, the, it's the sweetest thing. My dad went with her. My dad is visually impaired, big time. And um, my dad actually went with her and got to see some of his, um, got to see some of his school friends that went to that church. And daddy is 82, mom's 81. And mom was absolutely over the moon happy because dad got to see his school chums because they are not having a reunion this year and my dad um, usually does help kind of put together the reunion which you know that is kind of a sad thing um, you know they just decided not to do it this year but she was she was so happy, you guys. But she was saying, um, you know, we got there late and we didn't get to do the desserts this year. And they always have good desserts. So, of course, I was telling her about the churchyard sale that I went to yesterday and how, um, oh my gosh, y'all, they were, they were totally sold out. Coconut pie, chocolate pie, uh, chocolate chess pie, which I had never even had um, before I moved to Virginia. It was like wild. <laughs> Mom was like, I didn't get any dessert. I said, Mommy, you got to go down there earlier. And, you know, it's kind of hard to get, it's hard to get my dad out of the house. He's very uncomfortable because, of course, he can't see and he can't hear. And, um, but I have to tell you guys, it's just the sweetest thing in the world because his happiness made her happy yesterday and my sister and I you know always talk about how um you know just fiercely devoted she is to my to my dad it's very sweet I am going to put the word smile here I probably should have put that on a lighter background but oh well he's done now and there we go okay we've got a few more minutes The idea, and I know you see me doing this, is to put the glue down. Because <laughs> then you got to work really fast. <laughs> uh, which is cool, you know, because you're not going to really think about things very much. And you guys know, y'all know that I'm not a, a big fan of thinking uh, when it comes to doing things like this. I think that working intuitively is super neat. Lots of people don't think like that. It's okay, you know. Lots of people are quite structured and make just astoundingly beautiful things. I wish that I could be so structured, but for me, that that doesn't it doesn't meld with spirit, with my spirit, you know, it meld with other people's spirit. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. let's see. Okay. I kind of like having the um, 
the hymnal says not by his blood and I kind of like that so I'm not going to use not going to use a word on this one I'll just let this one be as it is I feel like it needs something right here And you guys can see that I'm not, I'm not being fussed about. Like I said, I let things overlap. I like interesting, you know, the dynamic of that interesting kind of shape, you know, that you have going on. And then you just cut that off. It makes awesome chippy fodder. I love this paper. I got this at Craft Us. Well, I was going to say Craft RVA, and then I was going to say Snack RVA. So, obviously, I have not had enough coffee this morning. <laughs> it's Scrap RVA. You guys might have a scrap store close to you. I think it's Creative Reuse Center, something like that. But they are in other places. I would love to put the word play on here, but, oh, there we go. There's child. That will work. Because these are um, it's tricycles and wagons. Also, Miss M, I am enjoying my glue stick. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love my glue stick. All right, there we go, you, you guys. Um... We have made one, two, three, four, five, six bookmarks, and one, two chippies this morning. <sighs> have some coffee, relax, have a happy Sunday, my friends. Be creative. Don't worry about it. Just have fun. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.